and vegetable are one of Uganda's main exports. Quite easy to grow because of a favorable geographical climate and fertile soil. With a readily available market, both local and abroad, this has seen many farmers engage in fresh produce. Fresh produce farming is well known in Uganda for the production of vegetables like chili, tomatoes, green pepper, avocados to crops like potatoes and bananas. Uganda has been contributing about 30% of the required fresh produce in the available market, competing with countries like Italy and Spain. The COVID era, however, creates an impediment to the business from transport, access to markets and cold chain supply for keeping the vegetables fresh. In town, a lot of produce is bound to get stuck in the gardens, but equally provides opportunities for a strategically set farmer. Tonight on Seeds of Gold, the impacts and opportunities of COVID on fresh produce. Coming up on Seeds of Gold. The single factor that has made our business thrive is the quality of our products. The chilies are the best in the world. The matoka are the best in the world. The sweet potato is the darling of the market. But this is the time to invest. James Kanyige is a fresh produce farmer dealing in fruits and vegetables. His main business is to produce and export for mass consumption, targeting markets here and overseas. Under the company KK Produce, he works with over 15 products in fruits and vegetables, which he generally exports to the European market as the biggest consumer. This is his story. In 1997, I started working with a company called uh, uh, Uganda Fish Packers. We are packing fish uh, where I gained experience. Uh, in exports, I became export manager and I was dealing with the uh, European Union and at that time, exporting fish. In 2000, I left. Uh, I teamed up with uh, another white man to start doing air cargo, of which we did. And then, in our way, we also found that uh, fruits and vegetables is what we can trade in because the European Union, they are buyers who wanted it. So in 2001, uh, September, is when we started. And then uh, by 2002, February, we had also introduced fruits and vegetables, uh, which included matoke, chilies, uh, uh, sweet potatoes, and, uh, and name it. And then we built the company uh, called IceMark uh, uh, from 2000 to 2000 and, uh, and 11, when I left and I formed the, my own alone, uh, KK Foods or KK Fresh Exporters, and uh, I started uh, exporting food uh, into European Union mainly uh, for for five years. After five years, we had to introduce uh, countries like Canada, US, and the Middle East, so that we can we don't put our eggs in one basket. Up to date, we are still uh, doing uh, this. KK is not just an exporter, he is equally involved in farming, a skill he adapted after years of mastering the business. He recognizes quality as the unique selling factor for Uganda's produce. As a farmer, I started farming in Ruero district, in, in Busika, near Zirobe, where I am farming at 100 acres of land. Uh, doing the chilies, the sweet potato, sugarcane, all what we produce is for export. Uh, and uh, in the last two months, uh, from October to December, we started another farm in, uh, in Kakumiro district, uh, where we are farming at 200 acres. We just started, we have now already 70 workers there. Uh, under, under production, we are producing mainly peppers, chilies, which we want to do it our, our, our own. But in, so, in uh, building the company, I also had to build what we call a, a, a to grow a scheme to have farmers, the small scale farmers, to grow for us. At one time we had reached 10,000 farmers across Uganda, moving all over 45 districts, trying to, to have people produce for us uh, 
because they are smaller plots, smaller farmers, and the, the market uh, we couldn't meet. So we decided to also embrace uh, or bring in the small farmers holders, farmers who will produce for our export, uh, which actually it was, has been and is the basis of the company. We have uh, been growing steadily with uh, smallholder farmers, uh, which uh, at the later stage I will show you how, what is its benefit or its uh, disadvantages. But that's how we built the, the export. The export industry is big, the horticulture industry is big, because 10,000 farmers uh, when you calculate the movement of us in 45 districts, it's quite uh, a big routine that I do uh, on a weekly basis, on a daily basis. I leave this home every morning to go to the office to coordinate the outgrowers uh, through our agronomists. We have uh, over 15 agronomists who are at bachelor level uh, across Uganda trying to make sure the farmers produce. Uh, standard products for European Union because the European Union has a standard that we must meet in order to export. So it's, it's, it has been a development uh, from uh, one kilo to 100 tons in a week. It, it has been moving and steadily we will need to have uh, maybe a week 100 tons uh, so that consistently. And our market, what they demand from us is 5 million kilos. Uh, quality, taste, because of our soil and our climate, has made our product. The chilies are the best in the world. The matoka are the best in the world. The sweet potato is the daring of the market. I have traveled to make sure to compare our own products and the other products. We are even into the market in London, even in Germany. We have put these things to test. We have cooked our, our, our bananas and um, North American bananas. We have cooked our, our sweet potatoes comparing to Mexican and the, the Ghana and the other country. We have compared them. I have been at that level where I try to compare why are the people in Europe looking at our products. But I got the answer that our products were very good and they were organic. The others, they use even the chemicals. They use a lot of fertilizers that to produce this uh, produce. Fresh produce can be a tricky business because it requires the producer to ensure that the products reach the desired market while still fresh. One of the biggest challenges of maintaining fresh produce is a reliable cold chain. This is a system of uninterrupted series of refrigeration, storage and distribution with effective equipment and logistics to ensure a desired low temperature range. The lack of a cold chain system coupled with restricted movements in the COVID times has heavily impacted this business and equally provides future opportunities in new markets. Coming up. Uh, I think it has, it has delivered a big blow to our industry. It can, I don't, I, okay, it's the whole economy, but for us, it has delivered a big blow and a big one. We are thinking, uh, completing of what we are going to do because all our systems are almost at standstill, I may say, shut down. Why? Because the movement of the whole the 45 districts I'm telling you, with the farmers I've told you in the beginning, reaching them without a proper transport, without a proper guidance of movement, it's no way. The, 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 you can reach the few ones, and the big ones, you can't reach them. Now, the COVID-19 wants to take us back to the few individuals who can have a border border, go to a garden you don't know. You don't know it's a chemical usage regime. You don't have extension workers there. You don't even know which chemicals they use it, and then it delivers to you and off you take to the market.
onset of COVID-19, the production and export of fresh produce is affected right from the farmer's inability to access extension services to the difficulty in transporting the goods across markets without compromising the quality, which is Uganda's unique selling factor. The impacts of COVID-19 to a horticulture producer. COVID-19 came and may not go tomorrow because we don't know. And, and, and the business has continued. For example, the cargo plane they have said should come. They have now doubled the flight. The flight. What we are paying $1.30, they are now asking for $2.60. Increase of that, of that magnitude cannot happen. What you have been selling for maybe $3, you cannot sell for $20. The market will not take it. I, I think it has, it has delivered a big blow to our industry, it can, I don't, I, okay, it's the whole economy, but for us, it has delivered a big blow and a big one. We are thinking, uh, completing of what we are going to do, because all our systems are almost at standstill, I may say, shut down. Why? Because the movement of the whole, the 45 districts I'm telling you, with the farmers I've told you in the beginning, reaching them, without a proper transport, without a proper guidance of movement, it's no way. The, 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 you can reach the few ones, and the big ones, you can't reach them. Now, the COVID-19 wants to take us back to the few individuals who can have a border border, go to a garden you don't know. You don't know it's a chemical usage regime. You don't have extension workers there. You don't even know which chemicals they use it and then he delivers to you and off you take to the market. From the, from the cold chain, we cannot do now cold chain because we, are, we, had, gone, we had started the cold chain. Everything stopped. We had, uh, as a company, we had uh, had an, uh, uh, an investment uh, capital to get to be get, got in the uh, UDB, Uganda Bond Bank, because COVID-19 came, it, st it stopped. Uh, so our cold chain stopped. Our production uh, system stopped because there is no way you can produce without being there. Those who were doing something, they have seen the effect of COVID-19. So it, it is affecting uh, completely from the production level, cold, cold chain level, uh, transport level, because we cannot transport our goods. Even freight, uh, freight at the airport for export into space has been reduced. Irrespective of the challenges at hand, GEMS cites the opportunities amidst the crisis, the market ahead. After COVID-19, even when COVID-19 is there, because business has to happen, either today or tomorrow, it will have to open. There is a, there is a, a light, light in, in, in the, at the end of the tunnel. I know now we are being affected by foreign trucks, which are not ours, those ones they should put a system and they see Uganda has to operate out of Entebbe to deliver cargo in the market. But after COVID-19, the countries that we have been competing with have had terrible, terrible consequences of COVID-19. This is what, this is our hope. We are somewhere thinking so hard, but now there is a hope. There is a hope for business. Italy, the biggest competitor of this country, and Spain, because for them somehow they receive some good right. Even there are mosquitoes there. When I went to Milan, trying to see how the farmers, you know, I've gone even to Italy to study their system of how they do farming, because I expect to look for money. Put the same system of how they earn, how they get those a lot of, of tonnage from a small uh, area of, of, of production. So I've been there in Italy, but now all those production areas have been affected by COVID-19, terribly and big, big time. So you may not see the 15 million kilos between July and December. You may not see it. It should come from here. But this is the time to invest because the Italian and its Spain, they start planting from March. Then their products are ready in July. Now they have not done it. This is our time. The disease is a bad one, but it has brought some also advantages. It has hit hard where the production, those who have been competing with us in the market, wherever we want to sell in the August, September, October, they say, no, no, there is too much Italian, there is too much Spanish chilies. Now it is not going to be there. 
With agriculture employing 70% of Ugandans, there is need to close performance divide through trade, commercialization and value addition. To ensure this, more productive and profitable practices have merged in the past couple of years. At the national level, the government of Uganda is implementing the National Development Plan 2016-2020, a holistic framework for poverty eradication in Uganda. At the grassroots level, the Hunger Project is empowering communities into sustainable farming using an epicenter approach to mobilize people, train and guide smallholder farmers into reliable development. One such center is the Namayuba Epicenter. Amanya gange nze Daniel Rutaya, ndi mulimi nima amatoke, nima emwanyi, kasoli, nima nemva endirwa. Daniel is one of its beneficiaries. This is his story. Mukutandika kwange na ina mikwano jange bavubo kabe nazanyanga nabo ompira. Nitubiranga mu kisawa newe twa malizanga kuzanya ompira ne tutula. Nitudanga mu mbozi za bulijjo. Nenga fena twa inanga ekifana ganyanga kya kulima twa limanga newa kuba buli muya limiranga uwe atinga tutu fayo nyo kubera anti no twera ambula okulaba buli muya mulala kya lima so a uh, nange nego mbali bali bakola ya desalinga nyo mwagazi wa kulima na yo lokuba nalaba anganga bogera na amanyi nego mbo kulimera ne ntandikira okulima ne ntandikira mu kulima ebintu nga kasoli ebitoke ne mwanyi oluvanyo ane do kanzia mu vendirwa zinatandika okulima Daniel's story was inspired by big dreams. His community was a supportive structure. Negombanga nyo abalimi na darabali waina kibako zeo na daraba ina ku bupichi pichi. Ngambu egomba nyo katine negombo ukulima kwe na chiza tobali bachijem ukulima. Era uvanyuma natandika ukwa garo ukulima anganze chirubi wacha ange cha kugula yoka pichi pichi noru vanyuma nzimbe kunyomba Supported by the Hunger Project, Daniel's farming life has been upgraded. Uh, Hanga project change bazako nti mu bulamu bwange be yanchusa yanchusa dela mu nsasanya nze nalinga ngule nsigo buli kumpi buli season naye kati ba tuleka lo mukisa ogukuteka ku community seed bank era buli wenjagala ensigo ngenda ne jja mu community seed bank nemya tino subwo ku finish ekintu kino bichibanga kyali kyabula kati wali bintu byenyezo kunyonyola kati ekintu nge nsusuti ngati zibwo kujinonya naye kati bengenda mu seed bank njisanga yate ne bajimpa ne so ku day wange ne njisimba Kati ate no luvanyuma ne banyamba ko okwa nti obansu mesa engeri yo ku marketing amu ebintu byangi byennima kubanga lulinze nalinga muntu musidi senga njogera na mikono jangu kabaka byenzanya nabo mpira ne kati uli wendaga ne yogera ko ngo mulimu wenva era abantu mu kitundu cyo afena bayatu bamanyi ngo mulimu wenva mulimu yo bitoke atenga bwe ninda ne bidye bimere bila bina sokira mu nge mwanyi ebimala ebanga edene nti okogerera awamu edoboze lya awamu kubanga ze ne mikono jangu byo muya tunda ange ebintu bene nga yogera ye yogera ko yeka ngabwe ni makaso itaga nti mukwano gwange jali na yali na alina kasoli ne olvanyo twa kungana batu exams muso wa marketingira wamu buli omwa agenda na ayogera botu buli wotu se ogamba banno nti banne fe tuli balimi abenda mayumba tuli makasoli kati omuntu no lyo musubuzi wadembo okujja kubanga chimito muli banji mutundira mu mubunji nsobode okuchifuna mu sente ne twikiza ke bimu kubiroto nga akapichipichika nali ndota atene okubira nti nno nasobola okugula echifo 
wengenda okuzimba enyumba eyo je nali ndoto okubera ntino mulimi aina enyumba Thrive.